Always alerting, always tracking. This is Next Weather. Next Weather meteorologist Cindy Pressler says if you enjoy the warm weather, Today's the day and a beautiful moon behind it's you gorgeous. too. gorgeous. Yeah, this is the full wolf moon. It peaked tonight. Beautiful. This is Jeremy sent this photo in and, and it, I, this looks like a painting, but this is the actual moon. And if you didn't get to see it tonight, you've got more chances. It'll be, it'll look full tomorrow night as well. And we have another one coming up in February. As a matter of fact, each month this year, we will have a beautiful full moon with a name to it. Next month will be the snow moon. And uh, later on in the year, we have four super moons coming up this year and one blue moon. It'll be a seasonal blue moon coming up in August. So a lot to see in the sky. This is what we're looking forward to a very warm warm going into the weekend and then the peak day is going to be Sunday with temperatures reaching at least the mid 80s and some of these areas could feel as warm as upper 80s to around 90 degrees so watch for that and then a big drop in temperatures next week it's a strong cold front that will move through and really change conditions now the warmest temperature ever recorded here in Miami was 88 degrees in January. So that's our record high for the month. 85 degrees what we expect coming up this weekend. Normal high would be 77, so well above that. And the Miami Marathon is going to be run on Sunday. Normally, marathon runners love temperatures ugh, in the mid 40s. It's easy to stay cool so they can use more energy for their running. But when the temperatures reach 75 to 80, and we're expecting mid 80s, that's when all that energy needed to cool off that's taken away from the running ability, so it's going to be on the warm side. Lots of water will be needed and uh, something to keep in mind. Now, 85 degrees afternoon on Sunday, dropping drastically into Monday and by Tuesday morning, 53 degrees. That's a 32 degree drop and only 38 off hours pretty quickly. And this is where the cold air is coming from all the way to the north. This is continental polar air, so it's dry air. North northwesterly winds will force it all the way south. Of course, it'll be modified by the time it gets here. So until then, enjoy the nice warm temperatures. We're going to stick with this with a southerly flow southeast to south flow, maybe a chance for a shower ahead of the front. The front doesn't get through here until late Sunday night into early Monday morning, but then it changes drastically. Winds turn, that cool dry air comes in, settles into uh, the area, especially Tuesday morning. That's going to be our coolest morning and again breezy next week as well with lows dropping into the lower 50s. Could even see upper 40s in spots. So there's your chilly weather if you like that kind of stuff. Highs tomorrow should reach the lower 80s looking for 82 degrees. Clouds and sun dry though. Maybe a spot shower, especially Sunday and then next week. Much cooler. Highs on Monday only 69.